Okay. So let's broadcast. Okay, we got a couple people here. Is it Thank you. Uh, it's yeah, it's upside down. Everybody, we're we're working on a few bugs. We're going uh, live on Facebook right about now. So hey, uh, hello everybody. All right, that's better, right? Yeah, that's better. Uh huh. That is better. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are we all good now? Almost. Okay. Just starting her up. One second. Okay. Okay, if all is going well. We're good? Oh, we've got a lot of people watching us right now. I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah, well, we're about to start. And I think we should start. Okay, everybody. So a uh, couple things. Um, uh, I am Blake Cabot. I am the owner of facepaint.com and uh, and I'm with Kathy Vergara, the legend. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Kathy got this started uh, with me a while back. And it's kind of fun to have her back uh, after a bit. And I'm going to, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, oddly enough, we have never done butterflies, which I just think is one of those travesties. Like, why haven't we done butterflies? It just That's makes crazy, sense. right? So uh, a couple things, you know, you guys ask a lot of questions. I'll pass them on to Kathy as she's doing her great butterfly designs. And in terms of facepaint.com, I always do this. Um, so we're going to have a coupon code for the next day after this. And the coupon code will be butterfly10. So the 10% off for butterflies at facepaint.com. So I will set up that code instantaneously while Kathy is busy um, telling you all about butterflies. She has trained literally hundreds of people um, <laughs> on, on, on face painting. Um, I met her through a sort of a business friend of mine. And so uh, it's been great. It's been great. So I look forward to it. So Kathy, take it away. Me too. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you, Blake. Um, so we're going to start with butterflies, which is one of my favorite, favorite things to paint. Um, so I have a few, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight designs that we're going to try to do. And, you know, we're pretty fast here, so I'm hoping we can... We can do it. I want to start with the like the absolute easiest ones just to like get started really quick. So these are the two easiest butterflies you'll ever have to do. Awesome. And these are cheek butterflies. Everything else that we're going to do is going to be full face. These are only cheek ones. Mm -hmm. This butterfly brush that is just a fan brush that I cut myself in the shape of butterfly wings. You're already getting high praise from Christy Wasson. She thinks you're great. Thank you, Christy. You're so sweet. Oh. And for those that are watching on Zoom, just throw in something in the Q&A and I'll ask Kathy any questions you've got. Oh yeah, my Zoom buddies. Your Zoom buddies. We got 13, 15 people on Zoom. That's a record high. Hi guys. Yeah, everybody prefers to watch on Facebook Live usually. So those of you who watch on Zoom, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I do too. So we're gonna use this. I just got this bright neon craze dome cake. Dome stroke. They're called dome strokes, right? They are called dome strokes. Yeah, we yes. came up with new names. Uh, dome strokes and dome cakes. All right, so I'm gonna use this dome stroke. 
Just loading up with this neon on this fan brush. Okay, so once you got it pretty loaded up, literally all you have to do. I lo love Argentina. My son's in Peru, by the way. So if you could oh, check nice. on Melissa. So. You're going to put your brush kind of sideways like this, and you're going to tap it a few times. And that's going to be one side, and you're going to flip it over. And this will be your other side. Now, these okay. cards don't really absorb water that well, so I'll show you on my arm really quick. This will be a little... Sandra. Um, so that's not a, is that a normal pedal brush, or did you do your voodoo on it? Um, it's just a fan brush, and all I did was cut in here and then out here and then a little bit right. on each edge. No, okay. okay. Just get it, make sure you get a really sharp pair of scissors if you're gonna do this and mm -hmm. hold like hold the bristles down so that they don't shift around when you're trying to cut them. Okay. So basically like this. Mm -hmm. And then all you have to do is outline it. Awesome. So use are butterflies your favorite thing to do? Yeah, they definitely are. Okay. Because you can do so many. Like, I'm going to try to do, like, like eight today, but there's more. Eight designs in one sitting? Yes. Is it possible, I say to myself? Um, come on. Remember last time you didn't think it was possible for me to get through all oh. we did? Oh, um, one thing. Somebody said, uh, make sure your arm's kind of in front of the board because uh, they couldn't see your arm. Oh yeah, sorry. I'm just loading the brush. I haven't started yet. Do you want to do this with acrylic now? What? What are you crazy, Gilbert? No way, acrylic. Well, on an acrylic, like a um, a canvas, you could. Yeah, that's true. Somebody's that's true. face, definitely not on anyone's face. Don't do it on somebody's face, Gilbert. Yeah, no. Gilbert knows, yeah. bro. Gilbert knows. Yeah, so we're just gonna add some teardrops. And we're going to go around and outline like this. And these are very simple outlines because the butterflies are very small and they're usually on people's faces. Usually you do this on like a small child or somebody who moves around a lot because these are very quick. Um, if you're like in a super rush, you don't even have to outline them, but I usually always do. Oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. They can't see? Yeah, I've, I've got something with your name showing up and it's um, maybe turn off your computer. Uh, oh, God. Um, I have some videos turned off. Oh, it says you cannot start your video because the host has stopped it. But that's my com that's my laptop video. My um my I can see is on. I can see me. Video. Okay, I can see you. Yeah, me too. Uh-huh. 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 Uh yeah, your name comes up black screens. Um Okay, they said my arm. They can see my arm. Okay, they can see your arm now. Okay, good. Okay. That's Sorry about that. Gotta see right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck happened. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is it outlined really just extremely simply. And usually I'll just like add a couple of cute little teardrops, some swirls, you know, make it look fancy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just outline this real quick for you guys to see. Uh, what size brush are you using? Um, this is a pretty small one. I don't, the, the number has rubbed off probably like many years ago, but it's probably comparable to about a two or one, if that helps. Mm -hmm. 
So this, as you can see, I can notice that there's like a lot of glare because the paint is still wet. Okay, so you can do that one. And then the other really, really fast butterfly is just using a flat brush. And I'm just going to load up with this pink. And I like getting, if you're using a chiseled brush, like an angled one, I like to get the light colors on the short side and the darker ones on the longer side of the brush. And for this one, very simple. You're just gonna lay it down and you're gonna rotate the outside edges of your brush to make that top wing shape. And you're gonna do the same thing with the right side. It looks kind of like that. And then you're just gonna make two smaller, I usually put little points on the edges of my butterfly wings the bottom ones at least. And then you can fill in any areas that don't have any paint with the, the back of your brush. And this is the same exact, you did this, finish this the same exact way you finished the other one. Mm -hmm. So just put a couple teardrops and then you outline it. Okay, well, so the two of the super fastest butterflies. That's a fast butterfly. Yes, very fast. You can do these on your arm, on your, on someone's like uh, chest area, if you're doing like a. Uh-huh. Was the flat brush angled? Yes. The one I was using was angled. You don't have to use an angled one though. Mm-hmm. It was angled. Okay. You can totally just use a flat one. Okay, so now we're going to get to the simplest of my full face butterfly. Mm. And this is the one I usually teach to everybody first because you can build upon it to, to do the other ones. Once, once you have like the basic shape down, then you're good. Mm -hmm. um, so let me, let me use this one. I'm getting a rainbow. Okay, this one is called Twilight. It's by, it's a pixie rainbow cake by Silly Farm. Mm -hmm. So Superstar Super Paint? Star. Huh? Superstar? Uh, Silly Farm. Yeah, the Silly, manu they, they private brand it from Superstar. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I had no idea. So they do. Okay, so this is a superstar. It's great paint. It's 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 a glycerin based paint versus a wax based paint. So slightly different animal. Got it. So it's good for blending and this is very good for blending. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna take a petal sponge. I'm gonna rub back and forth to load it up. And you want it to be pretty dry. You definitely don't want this to be like dripping or anything, because that means your cake is is too wet. All right, so now once I have it loaded, I'm going to just pretend that her eyes are closed and just dab right over here. And the petal sponge basically does the whole shape for you. Yeah, Laurel loves the superstar shimmers. She thinks they're really pretty. Ooh, yeah. I've been meaning to get some more like shimmeries and metallic paints. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just going to sponge, sponge this up. Okay. So once you have that down, normally you would wait for it to dry, but it would take forever on these practice boards. I'm gonna go in with a filbert. This is a this is a number eight, but I found that filbert sizes vary between brands. So 
So I'm not sure if you got a number eight somewhere else, it would be the same size. It was about like a quarter inch, maybe wide. I'm just in a little bit of black. Um, the, the, somebody asked, uh, Laurel asked, um, the shimmers sparkle like you put glitter in the paint, do they? Um, some of them, because I've, I've gotten paint that has like glitter pieces in it. So mm -hmm. you can see the paint and it's also like glitter specks. And then I've also gotten like metallic paint that are like shimmery in the light, but not necessarily with chunky glitters in them. Okay, so I'm just going to outline this. I'm gonna go really thin in the beginning, add some more pressure as I go around the top, make it smaller as I come in. Now these lines are very important right here because they're all going towards this inner corner of the eye, which is your focal point for the butterflies. Well, one of your focal points, I should say. Let me just open her eyes up a little bit so y'all can see. So if you were to continue this line, it would meet right here in the corner. That's how you know you're doing it in the right direction. And then you're gonna get the bottom, make like a little wiggle, let it go down, and then bring it right back up the bottom. I usually round out the bottoms. And right in here, where my little wiggle came in, um, one question came in from Susan. She said, on a real face, do you make the bottom wing smaller and directly under the eye or to the side? Um, pretty much kind of like this. So the shape of the top wing goes like this, comes straight down on this side, and goes in a little bit. For the bottom wing, it goes like this, kind of comes at an angle, and then goes in. So like this, up, down, and this one comes angle, angle, in, which is a little, it's slightly smaller, not like a huge amount smaller, it's just slightly smaller and mm -hmm. a different shape than the top wing. So they're okay. not mirror images of each other. You also don't want to go on a real face. You don't want to go too much past the, the nose because then it starts to take over and look a little too busy, especially if you're using like black to outline, which is a very heavy color on like a small child's face. So sometimes if I wanna brighten up um, a design, I'll outline with a different color, maybe like white or metallic purple is really nice for outlining butterflies. Okay, so we're just gonna keep those, make sure all those points are going right towards those focal points in the middle. And then I usually don't get too fancy with the middle of my butterflies. I'll just finish them off with a couple of teardrops. Okay. Now I'm going to grab some, some white finish this design off. Yeah, Susan loves the clean lines. Thank you. And so you just want to get this brush pretty wet and make sure that your black is dry before you do this or else the colors are going to kind of mix. You want to get it pretty wet, just like what's happening to me right here. Wet. And then varying degrees of pressure are going to create different sizes of circles or dots for you. So you're just going to want to be like super random with these dots over here. Now this paint right up here is still pretty wet. So you might see like a little bit of swirling going on. You guys get the, mm -hmm. the idea. All right, so that's basically how I do my simple, simple butterfly. That's three. Can we make eight? No way. I think we can do it. Okay. You guys get this one, 
then everything else is just like really fast. So um, uh, everybody, here's the code for uh, facepaint.com. It is good until the end of the day on the 20th. And it's 10% off everything. So you mentioned, um, Nina, you, you, Nina, you mentioned pedal sponges, brushes. Uh, yeah, you can, you can go get 10% off pedal sponges. Um, love the pedal sponges. Hi, Marina. Okay. Who doesn't love pedal sponges, I ask you. So now, oh, sorry. So now this is the Barbie. Same brand as the other one, the uh, Silly Farm Rainbow Cake. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to do the same thing. Just creating that shape of the wing. And I always tell um, my students that don't get too hung up on what your sponge work looks like. Because yes, you want it to look nice, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because what people are going to be mostly focused on is your line work. So if you can fix messy sponge work with good line work, and then it would, it would be like, you know, you never made a mistake. Just, well, as I said, another one of these things, if you look at Monet's water lilies, he painted over it a couple times. So yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, this is kind of Hola, clear. Vera. I move it up there. All right. So now the second one we're going to do is going to be more of a realistic kind of butterfly. And I like doing these when I have more time and when the it's a child that's a little older or maybe an adult because um, you, you have a lot of like intricate lines that you have to do with this one. So we're getting the same. Oh, okay. Somebody wanted to see the, um, the filbert brush that you used in your, uh, Susan wanted to see the filbert oh, brush that you used. Yeah. Okay, great. So this is the filbert brush. It's a number eight. I got it at a craft store. Um, but it's been with me for a few years now. So we're friends. Okay, so I'm just going to outline just like I did the other one. And now I'm going to continue with that same small, like number two, number one brush that I used before to outline the small butterflies. And I'm going to start by going right over here, over the, the eye, making kind of an outline right here. Well, the answer is um, to your question, Denise, is where can you get this pedal? The pedal sponges is on needlesafefacepaint.com. Um, and let me get that link for you. We got a lot of different pedal everything. sponges. What, what, uh, which, which brand of pedal sponge is it? Um, I think these are Silly Farm. Does Silly Farm have a brand of pedal sponge? Uh, yes, they do. I believe this is a Silly Farm brand. Actually, we just launched this, and I don't think we even told anybody about this. This is the, um, is that we have um, uh, our own Craze FX high density pedal sponge. I love people oh, trying out. Definitely so. gonna have to try those out. You're gonna have to try those out. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so for the realistic ones, if you look at like a realistic kind of butterfly, they usually have like one or two bigger shapes or the middle of the wing. And then you have like these smaller sections that kind of branch off from the bigger one. So all I'm gonna do is continue making these like, they're kind of like teardrop shapes. Mm -hmm. And some parts I'm gonna be filling in. Like if it doesn't make a teardrop shape, I'll just fill in that area, like right here. And I'll have a couple more like this. And then I'll just fill that in. So I'm trying to stay as symmetrical as I can. If you're not 100% like mirror image on both sides, don't stress it too much. 
because it's something this detailed, nobody's going to be like, hey, that one has an extra, extra part. Okay, so we're just going to continue making these like little teardrop shapes. And let me I'm gonna outline so that you can see where her eye is at. Usually I don't do this on a on an actual child's face too much. This one is kind of a lot of space here, so I'm gonna go and cut this one in half. And then what I like to do is use like a like a blue, like a really light blue or teal color. So I'm gonna just take this one from this rainbow cake. You can do, you can use white just like I did in, in the last butterfly. You can do this one. And I'm just gonna add the dots around. I think in the teal color, it's a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. Alex, beautiful. Thank you. So yeah, these are one of my faves because everyone's always so like, wow, if you start pulling these ones, these out. They look so realistic. And um, if I was really like trying to impress somebody, I'd take the, the liquid bling and then I just like outline a couple of the segments out here. And that looks really beautiful. Thanks, Sarah. I really appreciate that. She asked, she likes these tutorials. Thank you. Okay, so here's my realistic butterfly. Nice. This would even make it more realistic if you would use like an orange and red uh, rainbow cake. Look just it would look just like a monarch. Susan says, wow. Um, uh, also, other things we got going on facepaint.com. One is um, we have a 10% off superstar, which we saw earlier. Um, so superstar 10 is the code for the month. And if you guys want to get superstar, that would be great. Nice. Um, oh, everybody liked your dots. Uh, Ingus liked your dots. And um, yeah. Laurel thinks you made it look effortless. <laughs> it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of practice. Yep. And this sponge is a little wet, a little too wet, I should say, which is why you're getting like all these splatters around. Yeah, this is where I, I need to know Spanish better. Tu trazos son hermosos, gracias por compartir tu arte y experiencia. <laughs> Um, that they're, they're beautiful and thank us. Thank you for sharing your art and experience with us. There we go. Thank you. Hi, Maria. Hola. Okay. So I'm not going to be too crazy about like the, the sponge work because all that gets covered anyway. So now we're going to do, I'm going to do this in black just so that you can see it a little better. And um, this is, I don't know what you would call this, and maybe you call it like fantasy kind of butterfly. I just did this one day, I was kind of like, kind of bored of doing the same butterflies, like all the time, because people ask me for butterflies, that's like my most requested thing, mm -hmm. and unicorns. I was like, let me do something a little bit different. So, again, we're taking the same shapes, and this one is kind of, kind of wiggly, I guess you could say. So basically, I'm just laying my brush down at random points of the outline mm -hmm. to make this like wide and skinny, like this irregular kind of design here mm -hmm. and then 
I'm just going in to add little bubbles here and there. So kind of round and add a little bit of interest mm -hmm. in different areas of the wings. So let me do the other side real quick. And this one, I really like this one because you can do it very quickly. They don't have to match and they don't have to be perfect because no one can tell you what it's supposed to be because you're making it up. Like the realistic one, somebody could say, oh, you know, that doesn't look realistic. It's supposed to have this here and this there. But they can't really tell you that with this one because it's all in your head. That makes an incredible amount of sense. <laughs> The overwhelming benefit of abstract art is it's abstract. Exactly. It's not wrong. It's not, there are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. In face painting, definitely there are no mistakes because you never want to say oops while you're face painting. I know I've said this before, but. Is the key to being a face painter never it. saying sorry? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> key to being a face painter and a bad girlfriend. <laughs> 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 I was going there if you weren't. <laughs> Absolutely. And some life imitates art. <laughs> so here. For the antennae. Is my like fantasy kind of butterfly. Mm-hmm. Great. And usually I would add like, you know, you can add dots and stuff in there, but I feel like you guys have seen those for two butterflies already, so you don't need another one mm -hmm. with more dots in it. So, that. so what are we up to now? Five? Um, I think we have one, two, three, four left. Okay. Yeah. 635. Uh, okay. what, black, what black paint are you using? Uh, the craze, the one that came with the split cake palette. Yeah. So, uh, craze black. Here, I'll give you a link. Okay. So, now let's do. We call it a square. Um, now, of course, this is a little awkward, but what the heck? I'll ask her anyway. So, what is your favorite black? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to be honest. I'm paying her. I promise. <laughs> Um, well, it depends on what I'm using it for. Okay, that's fair. I actually don't, um, I use the Wolf White a lot, but I haven't really liked, like, started using the Wolf Black too much. Um, I used Paradise Black before mm -hmm. our craze, you know, came to be. Um, so now I kind of switch between the craze and the Paradise. Okay, so glycerin and and and, um, and a wax based paint. Right, because the paradise I found is, is really good if you're doing like dry brushing for shadows or something. The paradise is really good for that. The craze actually works well for that too. Mm -hmm. I don't have any big containers of the craze. I just have the tiny one. And you, as you can see, I'm like down to the bare minimums. <laughs> Gilbert's back. Thank God. Hey, Gilbert. Um, uh, Chloe's feeling so inspired, she can't wait to give these a try. Yay! Please tag me if you're going to try them on, on Facebook or on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put my, my Instagram so you guys can tag me. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry, I missed the Q&A. Oh, what is the black paint? I got it. Yeah. Okay, let me... Uh, there we go. So that's my Facebook. And my Instagram. I love to see your work on Instagram. Usually I'm more on Instagram than Facebook. But um, I love your work. All right, this glare is like killing me. I'm gonna have to like move this all the way up here. Okay, so now we're going to do, let's do the, the stylized. We did the simple, we did the realistic, the fantasy, the cheap. Let's do the stylized butterfly, because this one I do a lot also. Just because it's, it is really fast. 
I know two butterflies would be oh man would be the same. So we're gonna start with the teardrops here. And then I usually give them this like right under the eyebrow kind of line. Um, somebody asked a question. Um, um, Laura asked, sort of, do we have, uh, do we, where, where do we post these videos after we're finished? Um, we, we always have them on Facebook, on the, on the facepaint.com facepaint uh, page. And, um, and so you'll, you'll see them there, facepaint.com. Uh, you're not on Facebook. Is Tiger up there? Not sure. Let me check. Okay, so this one is mostly a bunch of teardrops and swirls. So it's really important to practice your line work. You can do so many designs just made up of a bunch of like random line work. Like that. Sherry wants to, uh, wants to hire you to do her eyebrows. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> there we go. I'm down. I also do makeup too. I'm a makeup artist. I just bridal party. That was amazing. Really? Okay. Yeah, she's one of my one of my good friends. Actually, works at Blue Balloon also. Mhm. Mm and um, her wedding was amazing. She looks so good. She thought, um, uh, Laura finds this one a little tribal, which it is. There we go. Yeah, a little bit. But I actually have a tribal one that I'm going to show you that's a little more on the masculine side. Mm -hmm. So this one's like a more feminine. Design. I, I don't think the, the, the tiger one is up yet, um, but I'll get on that. It'll be up okay. to the next day or two. So here's the, this stylized lady tribal. Feminine tribal butterfly. So I do realize that most of these are leaning toward the feminine side, and boys can totally get butterflies too. So that's why I have to put in like a more masculine butterfly just to show the guys that they're not forgotten. Um, okay, so we have three more left. Let me do three more left. You can make it. Yeah, I can totally make it. Oof. See, I told you it was all about speed, efficiency. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to use. Ah, I pronounced your name right, Cherry. Well, that's 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 fantastic. And um, it, Laura, I'll think that was um, extraordinarily pretty design. I threw it. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna build this neon. Well, while while we're building the neon, do I have a question for the group. So, do you guys say sorry when you screw up a design, or you just keep going with it like a bad girlfriend? <laughs> I'm just going to keep using that analogy. I'm way past the girlfriend stage in my life. So this, this is not my problem. <laughs> no, there's no I'm um, sorry in face painting. We, there's we, no sorry in face nothing. painting. No, we make no apologies. That's rule number one, make no apologies. <laughs> Makes a sense to me. Okay, so I'm going to use this really pretty, I actually haven't used this one yet, Sugar Splash. And I'm just going to load it really quick. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to go right on top of. Uh, what color are you using now? This is a sugar splash rainbow cake. Okay. Same. Um, and the one before the, the, the rainbow to the top? Of the uh, that's, that's the craze neon dome stroke. Okay. Bright neon. Bright neon. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to go right on top. Sugar splash. That's exactly it. That's good to know. Um, so Holly will not, will just keep going. She will rarely wipe it off and just and start over. Especially no, with, absolutely with not. Absolutely not. You go, Holly. You never wipe off your design. Uh, Sagitha was asking um, on that uh, the what the bloodberry. What, who, who, I think that was Silly Farms, right? Yeah, all yeah. of the, the big rainbow cakes I'm using are Silly Farms. Okay. Um, here, so I'm just going to take a petal sponge. This is a pretty petal. I'm um, sorry, sponge, a brush, pretty petal brush. I'm going to load it with white. And I think I'm going to use a, a dark blue to give a nice contrast to these um, wings here, the pink wings. Um, Laura asks, so what's the difference between a dome stroke and a dome cake? Um, the dome strokes, dome strokes are, are the little ones. Are the little ones, yeah. They're used to they're used for a three quarter or a one inch brush, um, and uh, the dome cakes are really for sponging. All right, so I'm just gonna double load. I'm taking this blue. This is from the Craze palette. The I think it's called the Essential. Mm -hmm. And I'm just loading right in the corner like this. You don't want to go all over the place because then you'll change your whole cake to light blue. And if you want to use dark blue, you'll have to clean it and that waste time and paint. All right, so now I'm just going to throw down some flowers. And I wish I wasn't so close to me. Hold on one second. Okay, that's a little better. Okay. So I'm just going to throw down some flowers like this. Now, don't get discouraged if your flowers look a little janky on a practice board or on those mannequin heads, because it is very difficult to do like really crisp, nice flowers on not skin. Is janky a technical term? Yes. <laughs> good, good. Just wondering. Yeah. Had to know. Very technical. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to start by laying flowers right in the corners. And now I'm just going to like alternate sides. <laughs> Scooby Doo term. That's what it is. It's a Scooby Doo term. <laughs> Is it, did they use that in Scooby Doo? Kathy's too young to have actually watched it on Scooby Doo. What? Are you crazy? Yeah. I love Scooby Doo. Oh, sorry. It's a different question. Um, yeah. yeah. You love Scooby Doo. I, yeah. I would not have thought Scooby Doo would have survived. Yeah, I watched it all the time. Well, you. I'm not that young. You know, I was I was born in the very early '90s. Yeah, I was born in the early '60s. <laughs> And Scooby-Doo was around in the 70s. I mean, it was, was it really? Yeah. I remember watching the, the Mystery Machine. And... OK. OK, this, I wish this wasn't so glary. It's just because the paint is so wet, it's very shiny. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'm now going to take a white. 
And this is a number six, four, six. And I'm going to add some dots to the middle of my flowers. Mm. Over that eyeshadow. Oops. I don't know what you would call that. Mm -hmm. Eyebrow outline or something like that. Yeah. Something. And then Remember, I face painters never say sorry. We already went through this earlier. Yep. Yep. I'm going to have sorry. a t shirt made. It says face painters never say sorry. <laughs> I think that's a great thing. I'm going to start selling merch. That's it. <laughs> Yep, tag, tag Kathy and she's going to send you a t-shirt. Yeah. Probably not, but. Face painters never say sorry. Face painters never say sorry. You really can't. What happens if you say sorry? They, 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 they just start attacking well, you. And just, grow they don't attack you. It just makes everything kind of like, they're going to leave your chair thinking you could have done better. Uh, They're never going to be like completely satisfied, especially like with an older person. Or if like the parent hears that, you're painting their kid's face and you're like, oops, sorry. And they're going to be like, oh, this person doesn't know what she's doing. Uh, why did I add, you see you guys have me talking about saying sorry. We don't do that here, so. There we go. So uh, Laurel says it's diminished. Can balloonists say you're sorry too? I, I don't think they can say sorry either. They just have to keep going, blowing and going. I think if you're in line, yeah. any kind of line work job, I don't see how you say sorry because it's just. It, no. Nope. We always yeah. taught the, the people at, in, our, in Blue Balloon that if something pops, you go, yay, and carry on like you meant to do that. Yeah. And Holly says it makes you seem unprofessional or a noob. Yeah, exactly. Even if you're new, that was like rule number one never tell a parent that you're new. Never. You got to like act confident and they'll believe you've been doing it for years. Exactly. And um, uh, Denise would buy your t-shirt if you had it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to, I'm going to get them. Yeah, we're going to have some merch here later. Yeah. And uh, Inga says uh, she really likes the outlining. Uh, she thinks that's very cool. Thank you. And I Zuri has arrived. Nine Hi, minutes Zuri. to go, Zuri. It's okay. You can just watch it after. And uh, speaking of Zuri, because she's here after all, so I can say your name with real feeling. Um, uh, we have a bunch of webinars coming up. Um, so those would be. Face um, painting webinars. Blowing and going. Tee -hee -hee. Truth. All right, two more to go. See if we can get these on. I'm like beating her face because <laughs> my sponge is kind of dry. Don't try this at home, guys. Okay. There we have our base down. And we're going to do. I'm going to do this like split cake, kind of. I just the super column. Okay, so. I'm going to go. So on. half the, uh, my DH who is a twister will say sorry if he misunderstands what a child says, but we'll make it funny. Oh yeah. Well, that's like, like, excuse me, like, huh? Not sorry, like my bad. Uh, Jerry, Sherry wants to see these on a mannequin head. No, we can't do a mannequin head. It's too complicated with the cameras, um, but it's uh, yeah. not a crazy idea, but just, I don't know. It seems a little harder. Mannequin heads kind of suck though. Oh, DH is dear husband. I did not know what DH meant. 
Now I know. I think I've seen that before. Oh my god. Okay. Forum. Okay. So we're just using the split cake to kind of do the outline. I'm sure you guys have seen this like method plenty of times online. A lot of people do their their butterflies like this. So um, next week we have speed painting with Darcy McHenry. And then on February 24th, same bat time, same bat channel. And on March 5th, we have Kristen Olson all the way from way over there in Europe. Wow. Uh, we could do a real person. That absolutely makes sense. And she, that's on March 5th. Uh, at 5 p.m. Eastern because she's in Europe and doesn't want to stay up too late. And then um, with, on March 9th, we have Simona Rad doing Amazing Unicorns. We have Kristen Olson on March 18th doing Dinosaurs. Easter Designs with Pam Kinneberg on March 30th. And um, we're going to do On the Job Glitter with Jacqueline Ho. How? Ho? Uh, from Vivid Glitter. Um, so we got a stacked pile. All those sound amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about all of them. I think speed yeah. painting. You can't go wrong. Although this is setting a new standard. Frankly, eight designs in one hour. Can't ask Mas Macho, Kathy or Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> me, always me. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me put the link to the uh, page. Um, yeah, we, we do have a page for just this kind of emergency and do, do. like nothing is usually when I'm on a job, it's like minimum 25. Minimum 25? Like minimum 25 an hour, at least like if I'm doing like a big birthday party. But I've gotten, because sometimes I do balloons and face painting together. Yeah. I can do a party of 25 kids, balloons and face painting in an hour. Nuri, it's just crazy. dawned on me that we don't, I don't have anything scheduled with you. This is crazy. We need to talk. All right, so I'm just adding roses. Ah, oh, roses. We have not done roses in a while. We should probably do roses. Yeah, roses are a girl's best friend. Was that diamonds? Diamonds. I don't know. I'm a bad girlfriend, remember? Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-five is so cheap. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting rid of her friend charges sixty dollars an hour. Sixty dollars? Yeah, sure. Charges twenty wait, did you say somebody charges twenty five dollars an hour? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever that is, come on, you gotta know your worth, man. Oh, people want to see your roses. I think we're gonna have to do another rose session. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think we did roses in the we did a, roses a long time ago. Yeah, and I think the first, like the first video. Yeah, in the first video, I think we did ro roses. Was roses. Yeah, I think that's true. Well, it was flowers, so. Someone says you can charge $100 at the beach. Um, well, in my area, in New York, I do 125 an hour for just face painting. Oof. And you see how I got some green. I'm in the wrong business. Like right there. Yeah. Good. Uh, no, no mistakes, guys. So no mistakes. Two. Oh, 25 kids. She meant you. Uh, that's why you said 25. It wasn't 25 dollars. It was 25 kids in an hour. Oh. Uh, so I think everybody misunderstood. And then, then I, of course, helped by. <laughs> so adding confusion. There's no mistakes. We don't say sorry. So I added some more leaves on the other side. More leaves down on the bottom. And that's basically what I would do for 
this rose butterfly. It's like mm -hmm. basically a split cake butterfly. Because all we used is a bunch of split cakes. Right. And I would add like a little bit of dots here and there just to make it a little fancy. Actually, back then, this was in back in July, we did a, a flowers class. We did not do a roses class. Oh, flowers. There you go. So there's okay. my split cake. And Jose says he cannot do roses. Been doing it for four years. Just roses are a plague to him. <laughs> you just got to kind of really practice. Yeah. I think that's right. Practice as long as you have to practice the right technique. Because if you're practicing the wrong technique, you're never going to improve. Yep. Okay. Well, it won't be till April, people. I'm booked up solid, as you heard. But um, yeah, definitely. Yep. Roses are coming up though. This is the eighth design. Yep. This is the last one. This uh, is Holly says you should try Marcella's techniques. Oh, and, and Cherry wants to see lilies, too. Oh, well, we can have lilies day. I think we did those in the flower. Like, I, my memory is horrible. But I, yeah. One of us is younger than the other one, so you have no excuses. <laughs> one of us. That was very passive-aggressive of you. Very. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, we got, like, one minute to spare. Actually, we got a couple... A little more than one minute because we started late. Oh, it's true. You're right. Yeah. So we can definitely finish this tribal design. Uh, Cheryl, you, you can't say you stink at roses. Remember, you can never say sorry. No. You're great at roses. Yep. If anybody asks. Your roses don't look that, that good. You know, these are abstract roses. And if you don't like them, you don't know art. So. Oh, what split cake are you using? Um, this was Pearl Peace Rainbow mm -hmm. Cake. Okay. And now I'm just going to do. We're going to start here. I didn't give you guys the link. The link to the webinars uh, for those on Zoom. Yep. Pearl piece. Yeah, pearl piece. Like P E A C E. Got it. Just like piece. Okay, so here's here goes my, my tribal butterfly. I was trying this out on my son. Like I, I made this up this morning while I was like practicing for the webinar. Mm -hmm. Painting on my my son. And I guess I made him a little too comfortable because he completely fell asleep halfway. <laughs> it's so funny. I have a video on my stories on Instagram of him like knocked out snoring. That's some lovely pinstriping, says Catherine. Um, uh, so a question, uh, when you're doing roses, is it better to have the lightest of the colors on the outside of the petal? Yes, at least okay. if you want to look realistic. You can do light colors on the inside. They'll just look a little more fantasy-ish. Mm -hmm. Usually like on a realistic rose, the darker colors will be toward the inside and the lighter ones will be on the outside. I wish this wasn't so glary. Okay, that's a little better. And so this is like a very good design if you get like those parents that are like, oh, no, I want to have a butterfly if their son asks for a butterfly. And um, you'll say, no, don't worry. This, this will, we have boy butterflies, even though there's no such thing. And then you can pull out this and they'll be like, oh, wow, this is cool. Forget I said anything. Yeah, I mean, the, as Susan says, you know, tribal's awesome. Mm -hmm. And people 
like associate tribal with more masculine things. So whenever you want to make something a little more masculine, just add some tribal lines to it. Mm -hmm. So Sherry says this looks just like her back butterfly tattoo. Have you seen Sherry's back? Uh, you know, I have to confess, Sherry. <laughs> I was creeping on you earlier. <laughs> you were my entire inspiration for this whole thing. That's true. Sorry, we, <laughs> so we should have credited you early, Sherry. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost done. Just People like the tattoo outlining. Yeah, you could even do this, like just use the the tribal lines to do a design that has nothing to do with a butterfly. Why is it going on so weak on the right side? So what? I mean, it just it looks like the, the color's not going on right. It's the glare. Oh, it's the glare? Yeah, I see yeah, it. I got gotcha. you. It's the glare. The darn glare. Yeah. Hopefully that looks a little bit better for you guys. Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> you can't do that in a real person. No. Yeah, coloring in their eyes. <laughs> Mothers will get cranky over that. Just stay real still. <laughs> Just this won't hurt a bit. Let me put this in your eye, in your pupil. One second. <laughs> yeah. Now, that, that has happened to me before accidentally. If like my sponge is a little too wet. Oh, it, wow. It can drip in someone's eye. Ooh. It doesn't hurt them at all. It's just scary to look at from the outside. Right. So I would just get like a little wipey and you dab the, like, the inside and the outside corners. And, you know, you're fine. Like, don't even tell them about it. Don't even acknowledge that it happened. Just be like, let me just dab this. Good luck. Uh, Sherry says that she should totally send y'all pics. She's definitely send us pics um, of the swirly tribal butterfly on her arm. That would make a beautiful face paint design. Yes. And Laurel says this is awesome. It is awesome. Thank you. So these antenna are going to be a little different, kind of like lightning bolts, uh -huh. making them a little tribally. Okay. Really, yeah. Awesome. Really cool with some like some liquid bling or some white. Like if you outline just the insides with a little white to highlight the tribal area, it would be like way better. Uh, people have actually done it to themselves. They've actually painted, dropped face paint in their own eyes. It's just, uh, okay. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know that. It was a, that was a thing, but I, I learned something new every day. Okay. Well, that's terrific. We have done eight designs, count them, eight. That's just crazy. We did crazy. it, one, two, That's three, four, five, crazy. six, seven, eight. Uh, definitely more macho than Ricardo Montalban. And um, <laughs> so very, very good. And um, well, thank you everybody for joining us. And again, we've got uh, that 10% off, Butterfly10 on facepaint.com. And we've got our upcoming webinar, so you've got the list. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks, guys. Oh. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>